Hey, 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 good evening. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great day. I did. If you guys have been following me today, today we hit, um, we are in um, uh, Disney, if you've been following at all with that. And today we um, had a fun day. We went to, to Hollywood Studios this morning and then we came back. It was really hot here. The real feel was like 106, so it was really hot here. Um, and about halfway through the day after we had used all our fast passes, everybody was hot and tired and the kids just wanted to come back to the resort and swim. So we came back here in the afternoon and, um, had a, they had a late lunch and, um, we then changed into our swimsuits and we went and we swam because we have a really great pool right out, pretty much right outside of our little, um, villa and hung out at the pool. And then we, uh, we decided to Jump, take a jump over to Disney Springs this evening because we had never been to Disney Springs. We didn't go the last time we were here because um, it was such a quick trip. And so the kids wanted to check out what Disney Springs is about. And actually, I wanted to check it out because I have a big surprise for them tomorrow morning that incorporates, includes going, heading over to Disney Springs. And I didn't know where we were going. I've never been there. Um, and so uh, I wanted to go. It was sort of my little sneaky way of getting over there and checking it out so I would know where we were going tomorrow and how long it was going to take us to get there so that I could plan my morning. Um, but little do they know that we are heading back there in the morning, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And, uh, um, you know, we always love just hanging out. And really this week has been super, super special. Um, you know, if you've been following me for a little while, I brought my kids down here in April, just the four of us, and we had a blast. Um, and that's why we're back now. Our summer plans got all kind of crazy and mixed up and messed around and, and canceled our original, hey Carol, um, our original plans got all whatever, crazy. And so my kids really wanted to come back. So I said, okay, we'll go back, you know. Uh, the money that we had put aside for our other summer plans just got shifted over to coming to Disney. And we're super excited because uh, Micha's going to join us tomorrow night. He did not, he was not, like I said, he was not with us in April. And he couldn't come for the whole time this time because, you know, he can't take off as much work because he doesn't have the flexibility that I have, um, you know, that coaching has given to me, which, um, but, so he can't take off quite as long. So he's joining us. He'll come down late tomorrow night and then he'll be here with us for the rest of the week. Um, which is awesome. It'll be super fun to make this really a full family vacation that I'm super excited about. Um, and the kids are excited, you know, they're, they're can't wait to see him and, and to share this with him because this really, it's such a fun place and such a magical place. And, um, it's hot here now. You know, if you're thinking about coming to Disney in the summer, I can tell you it's hot. Um, you know, so you have to have your patience. And I'm actually glad that people asked me when we first said how long we were staying. I'm like, really? You're going to stay that long? That's a really long time. But it's great. It's really nice because it gave us the flexibility that today when we were all really hot and it was just we were done at Hollywood Studios to be able to say, okay, it's fine. We can go because we know we have more time to go back. And it wasn't this power, 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 power and rush through. And had we not gone to Disney Springs, and truth is, my kids would have been in bed at their normal bedtime. But, you know, we figured we'd go over there tonight, um, you know, and so they were up a little bit later. But it's just, it's really been a lot of fun. Um, but that's not what I was coming on here to talk about tonight. I was coming on here to talk about, you know, where are you? Do you feel like you are sitting on the ledge of like, oh my Lord, something's got to change in my life, but you just are just sort of paralyzed there. Um, you know, you need that push as to get there, right? Um, hey, Amy. Yeah, we are having a great time. Um, you just need that push to, to just go over that, you know, go over that and just take that leap that, you know, and not really necessarily the leap, but like there's this big ledge. I, I sort of picture it as there's, you know, two chunks, right? And there's this big space in between and you're right at that edge and either you can fall down and fall in and be over or you can take that big leap over to the next side where things are going to get better things are going to get easier um and you know i'm throwing this out there do you feel like or have you ever felt like you were sitting on the edge of that ledge and either you could turn around and run the other way right you could fall down in that pit and it just be terrible or you could take that jump and um you know make that make that big leap and really go forward and move forward into positive things in your life right you know, if you're, if you're sitting in one of those spots, please, you know, stick it in the comments. Let us know. Um, first of all, we're here to help you get through that. But I think we can all relate to it because we've all been in that place um, in different times in our lives. And I really want to talk about sort of my whole journey. I know I've talked about it before, but being here, being here in Orlando and being at Disney really, really, really resonates with me and, and reminds me of how far I've come from being at that spot. So for those of you who don't know my story, 
Um, a little over three years ago, it, you know, it was three years ago last March, um, I was at that point. I was at that breaking point. I was sitting at that ledge, on that edge of that ledge, and not ready to run backwards. There was no place backwards for me to run. I could, things, things in my life really, I didn't feel like they could get any worse, right? Um, it was just, I was in a terrible place. I had, you know, at the time I was 75 pounds overweight going up, 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 up in that same direction, you know, going worse. Um, I felt like a complete failure. I had over the previous two years, I had lost almost a hundred pounds, um, doing, working my tail off, working with a doctor, working with a personal trainer, doing all kinds of crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Um, things that most people think would be really healthy. And in some ways it was healthy. And about six months prior to this point, I hit a plateau and I didn't matter what I did. Um, yes, vacation does suit me. Um, and it didn't matter what I did at that point. Um, I, no matter what I ate, no matter what I didn't eat, no matter how much I exercised, no matter what I did, no matter, it didn't matter. I was following the regimen that my doctor and my trainer had given to me and I hit that plateau and the weight wouldn't come off anymore and not, it didn't take long sitting at that plateau before that weight started creeping back up, right? It was, it, back to my old, you know, it became that yo-yo diet. I, I always say to people that I was a professional yo-yo dieter and it didn't matter what I was doing. I thought I had changed my life, right? And I thought I was past that. And not that it was going to be easy because it's never, ever, ever easy. If anybody ever tells you it's easy to get healthy and to stay healthy, they're lying to you. But I thought I was past that. And that weight started creeping back on. And first it was a few pounds and then it was a few more pounds and it was a few more pounds, right? And six months in and I'm back up 75 pounds. And I'm seven, sitting 75 pounds up again and I'm feeling miserable and I'm completely depressed and I had no energy and right it was just I was in a terrible terrible place and I was sitting on the edge of that ledge right I was just I can't even describe how I felt because I'm, I don't even really I, I don't even know that I could have described how I felt at the time but I was just miserable right I had three little kids who I had no energy to be a mom to I didn't want to get off the couch I didn't want to go do anything right? I did, but I just didn't have the energy. I was the mom that sat on the sidelines and then felt guilty about it because I didn't want to be the mom sitting on the sidelines. And not only were we in a, was I in a terrible physical and emotional place there, but the big, big secret that, you know, that people could see, right? I mean, there was no, there was no hiding the fact that I had put 75 pounds back on, right? I mean, I, I looked terrible. There was no hiding the fact that I was probably an emotional mess, even though I thought I was hiding that, you know, behind a big smile and pretend, right? But I didn't want to leave my house. I didn't want to go think places. I didn't. So I don't think I was really hiding that very well either. And I for sure was not hiding it from my husband or from my kids. Um, hey, Cindy, we are definitely enjoying Disney. Um, and I was just in this terrible place. And But what people didn't know, what we did hide very well was our financial stress, our, the terrible place we were in financially. And um, we were in a lot of debt. We were drowning, right? We were we were robbing Peter to pay Paul every month. I mean, it was just we were shuffling money around that we didn't have, and it was just and it was getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And I felt like a complete failure. I felt like a complete failure in everything in my life, right? I had worked hard to lose all this weight, and it, I had put it back on once again because I have done this many, many times, right? I felt like a complete failure because I couldn't take care of my children the way I wanted to take care of them. I felt like a complete failure because I wasn't the wife that I wanted to be. I felt like a complete failure because we were sitting here in this massive amount of debt and a lot of it I felt guilty for, right? I had had a business that, you know, now 10 years ago had collapsed and partially because the economy crashed. I mean, we actually had a really nice business and the economy crashed, so it wasn't, but we had invested a lot of money to build this business and at the same, and Emma had gotten sick and, you know, I made the decision to literally walk away from the business when she got sick. And I don't regret that for a second. I, not a moment do I regret that. But we took on a bunch of debt. And um, and I felt tremendously guilty because we're sitting here with a whole bunch of debt because of a business that I had that didn't wasn't successful. And I felt it was just, it was all this was sitting on my shoulders. And it was just I was at this breaking point. I was sitting on that ledge and I didn't, I wanted so badly to take that leap to the other side. I, but I didn't know how. I didn't know what to do, right? And I was searching and I was digging and I was asking and I was watching, you know, and, and I just, I didn't know what to do. And um, I reached out to my coach and who I had watched her um, 
lose 100 pounds and she was keeping it off. I had watched her go from working four jobs down to, well, at the time she wasn't quite working just coaching um, solely, but she was getting close to that, right? That was where she, but I was watching her turn her whole life around. And I knew that that's what I needed. First of all, I didn't go to her because I didn't think I was going to start a business. No way, right? I had like, I had, I didn't think that's not where I was going, but I knew I needed the physical change. I knew that was the first leap that I needed to take. And, um, you know, and so I did, right? I reached out and I took this leap of faith and I embraced all of it. I embraced the coaching. I embraced our amazing, amazing community. I embraced the habits of health. I embraced all those pieces. And very quickly, my physical health started to turn around. Very quickly, you know, within the first month, I was, I had lost a whole lot. You know, I lost about 20 pounds. Within the first six weeks, six weeks, I lost 20 pounds, right? And I started feeling amazing. And people started asking me what I was doing, right? Because they could see not only was the physical changing, but the emotional was changing. Because when you start to change all those pieces, it all ties together. Even if you don't realize how much it ties together, it all ties together. And um, people started asking what I was doing. And I decided I wanted to pay it forward. I wanted to help other people do the same thing. I wanted to help other people have what I, the magic of what I was having. And the six-week mark where I hit this was happened to be Passover three years ago. And uh, Passover 2016. And we were down here in Orlando. And again, people did not know our financial situation. We were in a terrible, terrible, terrible spot financially. And we were down here with my in-laws and with my husband's whole side of his family um, for Passover, for the Passover holiday. And we had promised our kids the year before that we would take them to Disney for during when we were going to be down here. And before we went, my husband and I looked at each other and we're like, we can't afford this, right? Disney Disney's expensive. Anybody who's taken a family trip to Disney knows it, it Disney's expensive. And, um, you know, and we looked at each other and we said, how are we going to do this? We can't afford this. We can't afford to buy the tickets to get into Disney. Forget about any of the other stuff that they're going to want. Fortunately, it was Passover, so there was no food to be eaten here. We'd have to bring our own food. But, um, but we didn't know what we were going to do because how could we break this promise to our kids? Our kids didn't understand. And, you know, fortunately, my in-laws were very generous and loaned us the money um, to buy the tickets to bring them, to bring the kids <clears throat> to Disney. And, um, but I felt, again, so guilty and like such a failure and so miserable. And that was right around the same time that um, people started asking me what I was doing for my weight loss and how I was being so successful and how I was starting to change my life. And, um, you know, and, and I took the leap of faith again, right? I had taken the first leap of faith to get on program to get my health in check because that was number one. My physical health had to get in check because it was literally killing me. I would not be here today, not just sitting here in Disney, but I would not probably be alive today if I hadn't gotten my physical health in check three years ago and my mental health in check three years ago. I don't think I would have survived to now. Um, and so I had taken that first leap of faith and I had grabbed on to everyone around me for the support that I could get to help me make that jump, right? My coach, my husband, my friends, anybody that I could get that was part of that community, my my healthy community that, that now is so much a part of my life, right? I linked arms and we took this leap together and they helped get me across. And um, when people started asking what I was doing and what my magic was, I, I decided I wanted to pay it forward and help some people get healthy and help do it. And, you know, in turn also, you know, build a new business, right? Build a business and, and help help restabilize my family because that's what we needed. We were not in a stable place. Hey, Gail. And, um, and so I did, I took that leap of faith again. And, um, and again, linked arms with people who were doing this and with my coach and with, you know, this amazing healthy community. There are so many of my closest friends now that I didn't even know three years ago, right? When I first started this and it was amazing. And, um, it was just, it's been the journey of a lifetime, um, of several lifetimes, right? In the last three years, not only did I get to my own healthy weight, right? I got to my, it took me about, about six months to lose 75 pounds, um, seven months to lose 75 pounds. Um, and I kept it off, which to me, that's tremendous, right? I told you I've been a professional yo-yo dieter, but no more. And it's not easy. I work really, really, really hard to keep it off because if I go back to my old ways, if I slip back into my old bad habits, they're going to, you know, what, how I looked and felt before is going to come back, but I'm never going back. I'm never going back. I've invested myself to continue to do the work because I know I deserve it. I know I'm worth it. And I've really learned that. 
And I started, you know, I said, okay, you know what, I'm going to coach a few people because, you know, I want to help a few people. I had no, no knowledge, no inkling of anything as to where my business would go or how many lives I would be able to touch. And, you know, in the last three years, because I said yes to my health, almost 14. 1,500 people have changed their lives, and I see several of them on here live up in my little circles. Um, almost 1,400 people have changed their lives, and that just blows my mind. Crazy. But not only that, I've changed our whole family. I've changed our whole family physically. I've changed the way my, you know, we relate to food, right? I've changed the way I relate to food. I've re- changed the way my kids look at food, right? Right. Um, and how, and the choices and the healthy choices they make. Um, hey, Rosanna. Um, and I've, ch- I've changed everything. But not only that, we've changed our lives financially. And I'm proud to say it. I am proud to say that this business has allowed me to help so many people to get healthy, has allowed myself to get healthy, has allowed my husband to get healthy, and has allowed us and helped us get healthy financially as well. Yes, never going back, Rosanna. Get healthy financially where now... I can come to Disney. I could bring my kids to Disney in April, right? Because I could, because I wanted to take them someplace for spring break and not even think twice about it, right? And that when they said this, uh, you know, this year when our plans went all amok, and yes, we had put the money aside for something, for you know, for other stuff, but the fact that we were able to put that money aside for other things, that then got canceled, that we were able to come back here for 10 days, like, it's insane. Where three years ago we were here, and borrowing money and barely able to pay to be here, right? We had to drive down here because we couldn't afford plane tickets. And, um, right? I mean, it's just, it, I walk through the Magic Kingdom and I tear up every time because, first of all, seeing the magic in my kids, you know, seeing what the magic of Disney does to my kids and does to me. I mean, I love the magic of Disney, right? But there's a spot that we stood that I took my, um, my first sort of after picture, you know, when I was, when I was doing my before and, you know, when I was first starting to coach at Disney, it was six weeks into my journey. And, um, I haven't taken it, retaken it this trip. I took it when we were here in April, a picture in the same spot. But every time we walk past that spot, I have to stop and just like take a deep breath and say, wow, because how much things have changed. I remember standing in that spot. It's, it's a fan, it's a railing right in front of where the, with the castle behind, walking over into Tomorrowland. If anybody's been to Disney, you can probably picture exactly where I'm talking about. And, um, right, and I remember standing there taking that picture, knowing that I was going to use it as my first sort of quote-unquote after picture, even though I was far from, from after. And I remember how I felt. I remember how scared I was because I still didn't totally believe in myself. I still didn't believe that I was going to be able to keep lose the weight, get to my goal, and actually keep it off. And I surely didn't believe that I was capable of coaching people, right? In my mind, who in the world was I to tell people how to lose weight and how to give them support, how to lose weight? And so now when I go to that spot, when I stand there, and I go every time, right, and when I stand there, it literally brings tears to my eyes. My kids, my kids get it now. They didn't get it when we were here last, last time, but as they don't really remember, I mean, they sort of remember three years ago, but they, they now remember me as the active mom. They now, you know, see my pictures, you know, they see our before pictures, but you know, to stand there and just say, wow, I was given this amazing gift. I was offered this gift and I had the courage though scared, I had the courage to say yes. And because of that, my life has completely changed. And it just, it's so powerful. And it's so amazing. And we all in our lives have that. We all in our lives have those moments, have those times, have those places. And if you haven't had one, or if you're looking for one, it's there. I'm here to tell you that it's there because if it was there for me, it's there for everyone, right? I'm not anything special, right? But I'm someone who decided that I was worth it. I decided that my life was worth it. My life was worth living in a different way than I was living three years ago. And because of that, I took that leap of faith and I linked arms with people around me and I linked arms with people who were already doing it. And I linked arms with people who wanted to do it and asked them to join me on this journey with me. And boy, has it been life transforming, right? For all of us, right? One of the people that was on my heart the most when I started this was my sister. My sister 
you know, she and I have been on this weight loss roller coaster for our entire lives together or our entire, you know, teenage through now lives together, up and down and up and down and up and down. And when I saw how much my life was changing, she was the one I wanted to help. I really became a coach to help my sister and to get my husband on plan. And, um, because I knew he needed it too, right? Even though he didn't realize it until a little bit later, but I really wanted my sister on plan. And not only did she follow on plan, she now became a coach and she's now helping all kinds of people to get healthy. She's lost 115 pounds to date, right? Like it's amazing, amazing what we can, you know, what we can do when we take that leap of courage and when we get off the ledge and, and take that jump across, don't fall down in, right? Which is about where I was at. I was about to fall in, but I didn't want to fall in. I didn't want that. I knew I, there was too much to live for. There were too many things to, to live for. God put me and put every one of us on this earth to do something amazing. And that was really what I was struggling with at the time was what am I here for? What is my purpose? And I asked for that and I was given this gift. I was given this amazing gift to be able to get my health in check and my life in check and to be able to help others do the same thing. And I just, I can't even tell you how amazing that feels and how amazing, you know, coming here feels. You know, it, it's interesting because this has sort of become my happy place. My kids love it but I think I love it even more, to be completely honest. Um, actually, maybe not more than Madeline, but um, but I love it here. And Micha only sort of gets it, right? He When I said I was bringing the kids in April by myself, he was like, oh, okay, whatever, you know. And he was, he was bummed that, that he couldn't come because he was missing out on something for the kids, but he could take or leave Disney, right? Um, and even with this trip, he was like, you know, same thing. Um, he wants to come because he wanted to see it through the kids' eyes. But for me, this is is a reminder of how far I've come in the last three years, right? Like I said, we were borrowing money to come and here I could pay in cash to come twice in three months, April, May, June, July, for basically three and a half months. I could pay fully in cash and not have to put it on a credit card, right? Blows my mind, blows my mind, right? And it just, I, I'm here to say, that you can do it too. If you're struggling, you can do it too. You know, we're not anyone special, right? We just made a decision. We made a decision to change our lives and we have. And it just, I know that there's only amazing things coming down the pipeline. You know, I, you, for those of you who have been following me for any amount of time, right? We got to go on a cruise, all expenses paid by our company back in March, right? The year before we went on a trip to Punta Cana, all expenses paid by the company, right? They just announced tonight, they haven't announced where the trip is going yet, but I can guarantee it's going to be someplace awesome next April, right? They just announced the qualifications for that. And, oh, you know, a whole bunch of people reached out to me and said, okay, let's do this. Let's get ourselves on this trip, right? And we're all going to go on this trip together. And I'm telling you, if you want to, if, if coaching, if what I'm talking about sounds at all appealing to you at all, helping other people change their lives, you can be on that trip with us too. You can have everything that we have built, right? Because I like I said, I'm not anything special, right? I just have worked really hard. It is crazy, Amy. It's really crazy. You know, I've worked really hard and I made a decision that I wasn't going to live the life that I was living before, that I was tired of that and that I deserve something better. You know, I was put in this world to deserve something better. I was blessed with an amazing husband because I deserve something better. I was blessed with three beautiful children because I deserve something better. And I survived the birth of my son, which I I shouldn't have survived. I mean, obviously I should have survived, but it was like against weird odds that I had survived that because I'm here to do something big. And after I survived that, that's a whole nother story of when my son was born that we'll I'll talk about on another night. Um, but when I survived that, I, I really started thinking, what am I here for? Clearly I'm here for a reason. And what is that reason? And I found it, right? My reason is clearly to help others to get myself out and to help others. And it just lights up my life and gives me so much, you know, I just love it that when people come to me and say thank you and, and right, I, I talked about last night how I was, how this trip, I am like, we and my kids 
you know, I started my kids on being a mission to make people smile while, while we are here, thanking everybody, wishing everybody a good day. It was actually, it was funny. We walked into the park this morning and there was a, an employee, a cast member standing there and she was sort of, um, you know, like whatever, sort of staring off. And I smiled at her and I said, good morning. And she like, it took her by surprise because, you know, it was crazy. It was like shortly after the park had just opened. So there's like people mad rushing in, right? And she was one of these people that it wasn't somebody that would stop to talk to her or they were going to stop, right? And I, my son was still zipping up his backpack and I said, how are you today? And I just started this conversation with her. And I could tell like the whole look on her face totally changed, right? And I said to my kids, because my daughter actually noticed this, and I said, that's what we're on a mission to do here today. We are on a mission to be as kind as we can to as many people as we can be, because that's what we can do in this world. That's the one thing that we can do in this world is we can help change people's lives and treat them with kindness. And that's that's what I'm on a mission for, right? So, um, you know, I hope that if you are sitting on that ledge, if you are sitting on that ledge and you are ready to take that leap, link arms um, and um, link arms and let's go. Let's do this, right? I'm here for you. I am here to help you in any way that you can because let's do this. And if that idea of that awesome trip, I don't know where it's going. They will be announcing it at convention in a few weeks, but I can guarantee it's going to be great because every one of these trips is always great. If that sounds appealing to you and you want to help other people get healthy and you want to do what I do, you can do it too, right? You just have to make a decision and let's link arms and let's do this together. So I'm going to sign off. I'm going to have go. I'm going to take a shower because I'm still hot and sticky from today and get ready for tomorrow. I've got an awesome surprise for my kids tomorrow morning. It's really more of an awesome surprise for my girls and my son's coming along. But, um, and, um, you know, we're, you know, we're going to, let's, we're, I'm going to get ready and, uh, Get, get a good night's sleep, but let's do this together. I'm starting to read comments. Sorry, that's why I lost my focus. Um, Amy, you can definitely be there. Absolutely, you can be there. Um, you know, so let's do this. Have a great night, and if you want to know how, if you want to work with me, let's do this. Reach out. Have a great night, and I will see you back here tomorrow night, and, uh, you know, wait for my pictures for tomorrow because we're going to have a fun day where we have a big surprise. I've got a big surprise for the kids tomorrow morning and then we're heading back over to Magic Kingdom tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. So see you guys later. Bye.